Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, I'm going to bring you an Arbitrum airdrop guide, step by step, super easy. I will show you some slide shots the how I did everything to participate in the airdrop. Of course, this is a speculative, it's not confirmed, but I will cover everything that you may need to know and do in order to get the best airdrop possible. This means that you could get thousands of dollars according to what happened with Optimism and in the past with another airdrops. So I will give you a step by step with everything that you need to do in this video. It will be super quick, directly to the point. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and without anything else, let's go into it. Guys, today I will bring you this step-by-step -step guide. It will be super easy for you because I have all the slide shots that what I was doing in order to participate. So you will see it super easy. But before that, let's go to check the things that may apply to the airdrop. So basically, I have four things that could apply. The first one is a transaction that you will bridge Ethereum from the Ethereum network into the Arbitrum 1 network. So this will count as one transaction and I recommend you to do it three times over time, two days between at least. So this will mean that you are using actually the, the bridge to move Ethereum into the Arbitrum network. So that will be the first thing that we are going to cover in this step by step. The second one is that you need to use some of the Arbitrum dApps on the Arbitrum 1 network. For example, in this video, we are going to do it using a swap in SushiSwap on Arbitrum. Like I will show you in the tutorial, we are that, that will make one transaction. So I would recommend you to do one transaction per week according to what happened with Optimism. Since your first transaction, try to do it one per week since that date. So this will position you in a repeated user role like was with Optimism during at least four or five weeks. The third thing to do is participate in the Arbitrum roles that this apply for the community in Discord. You need to go to this website and you will see here all the roles that you can do. Usually it's holding a very little amount of any tokens of this list. You will be already participant and having access to have this. So once you participate in most of the ones you can, you just click here on showing build to get roles. And of course, I would recommend you to follow the Discord channel of Arbitrum 2. And lastly, the fourth stuff is like with Optimism, participate in the Ethereum network. This can be done doing a couple of things like participating in a voters of DAOs, multi-sign signers, user price out of Ethereum. All that you will find it here in the link of the description of how it was on Optimism. For Optimism, you needed to be a user like we already covered with the transactions. Repeated user, that is why I mentioned that the point two at least do this one per week. So you are considered a repeated user in case that Arbitrum manage the same kind of thing that Optimism. And then to get the more powerful airdrop here, you need to do this multi-sign, the DEO, voters and all the stuff. So I will put the link on the description on that. So the point four, we are not going to cover it in this video, but we are going to cover point one, two and three. So let's go directly to the tutorial. Guys, the first of all is you need to have Ethereum in your MetaMask wallet. Here you can see I am in my Ethereum wallet. So I have funds here, 0.4 Ethereum. I did this only for the purpose of the video. This is not my, my real wallet, but I put 0.4. This is $700 at the moment of this video. And from there, we need to go to bridge.arbitrum.io. I am using MetaMask. I recommend to use MetaMask too, but you can use Wallet Connect or Coinbase Wallet. So in this bridge, what we are going to do is we are going to move the balance from the Ethereum mainnet to the Arbitrum 1 wallet. This will be the usage of the bridge. This will be your first transaction to enter in into the Arbitrum network. Actually count for the airdrop as a user of the network. So I recommend you, like I put here, to at least bridge a couple of times during the time, during a couple of weeks or months. So you will really be recognized like a repeated user here. So I put 0.2 of my 0 
So this is $350 right now. You can see the layer two gas is zero on Arbitrum here, but the layer one gas is almost $10 just to move my Ethereum into Arbitrum. So this high fee is for Ethereum, not for Arbitrum. So once you are okay with that, you click on move to funds. And after that, there says that it's moving the 0.2 Ethereum into Arbitrum one. You need to wait a little bit on that. And in the meantime, we need to go to chainlist.org. This is a website where you can find all the networks because we need to add Arbitrum one into our MetaMask. If you don't have it, you can do it this way. So go to this website, search here for Arbitrum, click here in Connect Wallet, and then in Add to MetaMask, you will see here that you have the network name, the URL, the chain ID. You can do this also manually, but this website is really secure. So you don't need to put all this information manually, which could be more difficult for you if you are a beginner on that or not super familiar with all this, this stuff. So go to this website, search Arbitrum, click to add to MetaMask, click approve there, and there you have it. If you go into MetaMask here, now you have Arbitrum 1. This is where everything is going to happen in this layer 2 solution. So again, after you bridge the 10 minutes, you will get this message, the success 0.2 Ethereum has been moved to your wallet. So now if I see here my Ethereum in Arbitrum 1, I have 0.2 Ethereum. So right now we already accomplished the point one of this. We already bridged Ethereum into Arbitrum network. Now, if you go to DeFi Jama and you see Arbitrum, we are almost in 1 billion TBL. After Polygon, Arbitrum is the biggest chain for layer two solutions. Then we have Optimism really close. Optimism pumped up a lot after they did the airdrop having the token. So for sure, Arbitrum is going to do it. Sooner or later, if you didn't saw this previous video that I did about this airdrop, I am expecting that date on that video where I say. So check that video and I tell you there why you can get $20,000 on this airdrop. So guys, we need to use some application now on the Arbitrum ecosystem. For the purpose of the video, I will use a sushi swap. I will swap some tokens. So if I go to app.sushiswap.com, I will connect and I will select Arbitrum network. So you can see I am already in the swap page here. I have 0.2 Ethereum, which is what I transfer into Arbitrum one. So I will select a token here, for example, USDC. So I will put $80 in USDC and I will confirm the swap. So after that, you can see I already have my $80 of USDC. So this was a one of a, one transaction. I recommend you to not do many transactions in a row. Maybe you can do one or two per day. You can space the transactions over time. So, so you can be seen when the airdrop comes as a real user of the platform and the network. Guys, that is all if you want to cover point one and two. You can do another things. You don't need to use sushi swap and swap tokens from one place to another all the time. But let's go to the point three right now. And this is the guild that XIC Arbitrum. You need to go to the website. You can see it here. And here, this is the way that you get a better role in the Discord channel. So at the moment, you can see here that literally nothing. This will give you literally nothing. But I really think that when they launch the airdrop, they are going to consider what role you have here. So what I recommend you to do is go to this website and you will see, for example, for this treasury farm, you need to hold at least 0.001 magic token or you can own one of these NFTs or own one of these NFTs. So in order to complete and be able to join to this, you need to do one of these things. I would recommend you what I did is just buying a small amount of these tokens. The same you need to do here with Link. Of course, this is less than $1. So in my case, I just bought $1 of each of these tokens that I am asking to do here. GMX farm to participate in this, you need to hold at least 0.001 GMX. So instead of buying NFTs, what I do in order to have approval of this, it's just holding that token. So you can see here that you have the view on Explorer. So if you want to buy magic, you go here, click there. Then you click here to copy the address. 
and then when you go to the swap you put select token you paste the address there and the token will appear here i am not connected right now into the wallet that is why the token didn't appear but you can get all the contracts from this link below where it says that you need to hold it so like i say i would recommend you instead of buying any stupid nft just hold some of these tokens magic here for example is at this position is 50 cents and in order to have 0 0.001 magic it's like pennies only guys so you can do that in order to get the most amount of rods here that you can get for this guild here you can also copy the contract but you need to go to arbitrum so click in these three dots copy the one for arbitrum one and then you paste it here in sushi swap to select the token and you can click here and select the token after that you will see that i bought with my usdc 10 tokens of magic you only need 0 0.01 but you can spend whatever you want, right? And once you got that, you will see this, that you have access now. This is refreshing automatically because I already hold this. So the idea is that you complete most of these tasks, the ones that you can. I think this will be really, really important when the airdrop comes because the airdrop is for the community. And this guild is what makes more roles, more importance of your users in the community. Guys, doing that, you will be covered for point 0.1, point 0.2, and point 0.3. And for point 0.4, check the link on the description because for Optimism, this was the one that gave you more airdrop. So for Optimism, was like we did for Arbitrum point 0.1 and 2, be an Optimism user and a repeat user. We already covered that here in 1 and 2. You need to bridge and you need to use the application a couple of times per week, I would recommend you. But after that, you can see that with that, you will get 2,500 uh, OP tokens. But in order to increase to get 20,000 tokens, you need to do a couple of other things. For example, if you're on Optimism, if you did four of these, you will get a bonus of 4,000. If you did five of these, you will get 13,000. If you did all of these, you will get 27,000. So. You can check here what DAO voters means in these links and exactly what you need to do. Also, what is the Gitcoin donors, the multi-sign signers, how to do that. All that is participation in the Ethereum network. So Optimism, give the airdrop to the users of the network, to the repeat users, and then to everyone that did this stuff in Ethereum. This is for another video, but for now, doing the point one two and three i think you are going to be really really good to get a very big chunk of airdrop of course this is still speculative we don't have official information but i recommend you to do this it will take you like 20 minutes like top and then you will be able to probably to get a very nice airdrop when this time come if you can check the point four that is the most important one in order to increase more your airdrop but one, two, and three is enough for, for participation. And of course, this is not financial advice, but you can do this with multiple wallets, one MetaMask in one place, another wallet in another places. It will take you only 20 minutes and you can increase that way the amount of airdrop probably. So that is something that I plan to do also. So guys, that is all for this video. A very quick and to the point tutorial how to get the best airdrop possible with these four points. I am thinking that I'm covering everything here. If you see another thing that could happen on Arbitrum that will give you the possibility for more airdrops, put the comments below. But guys, I am really active on airdrop uh, platform. I actually use it normally. So I don't think that I am missing anything right now. But anyways, put your comments below if you think that I forgot about something. Guys, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications, put your love in the comment section. Put your love, clicking the like button and subscribing. If you want to know more about Arbitrum time to time, I will be doing videos all the time about this because this is very important and I really want you that you get a lot of money with this airdrop. That will be all and I see you in the next video. Bye.